Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here, weatherweb.net. Thanks again for watching. Uh, as always, just a reminder that the site's kept free of charge by the adverts that you see around the screen here. It's by you coming back and using the site and using the adverts that enables us to uh, keep the site going free of charge. So thanks for doing that. Now the sun has got uh, very active in the last uh, day or so. Um, right at the beginning of this week, you know, there hadn't been any x solar flares since the beginning of the year. But then, in the last two days, we've had four of them. And uh, this chart showing them, uh, we've got one here, 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 and the latest one here earlier on today. Now, uh, in terms of weather, of course, um, it's undecided what impact these things have. Probably uh, it looks like they have very little impact, at least in the short term. But what they may do is if we get some clear nights over the coming nights, they may well trigger aurora. So it's well worth going out and having a look. If you get a clear night, look towards the north, see if you can see the aurora borealis. Now, it's been a bit of a wet one uh, over the last uh, day or so. These were the rainfall statistics up to 7 o'clock this morning. And if we just zoom in there onto the um, southern parts of the UK, you can see that uh, it was southern parts of Wales with 74 millimetres that took the most amount of rainfall. Many areas saw more than an inch of rain. Heading north still got close to uh, an inch of rain falling around many parts of northern England where the rain still continues to fall, but much less as you uh, as you head your way northwards into Scotland. So, certainly has been pretty wet over the last 24 hours. Now, I mentioned clear skies for the aurora, and actually tonight is going to be one of those nights, because it looks as if skies are going to become clear for many. This is going to allow the winds to fall light, it's going to allow temperatures to fall, and it's also going to allow a widespread frost to form. The frost probably within this sort of area here. I think typical values around 0 to minus 1 degree Celsius, but some places could get down to a minus 3 over parts of the central Midlands and eastern parts of Wales, as well as northwest England. So after that cold night, Thursday actually looks set to be uh, quite a nice day. I think there will be some sunny spells around, but also a scattering of showers developing. Highest risk of the showers probably southwest England, through Wales, through northwest England too. I think elsewhere these are just scattered showers in the Midlands, but for many you can see there it should be a drier day. I think lighter southeast winds blowing around 8 miles an hour as well, and we should find the best of the sunshine for eastern Scotland and eastern coasts of England. Note the low pressure area that's over the southwest of Ireland bringing some rain here. Then into Friday, the flow goes into the northeast. This brings some showers onto eastern coasts. I think many western areas and southern parts should be dry again. Still light winds down to the south, northeast is around 9 miles an hour, but breezy across Scotland. Overall, not too bad a day, probably just feeling quite cool where you get exposed to that northeast wind. Saturday is presenting us with a bit of a complication. Got low pressure in control. Looks like it's going to zip its way westwards through the country. It will bring rain. The difficulty is deciding on where it's going to be at the moment. It looks like it's split in two. A section through the Midlands and Wales and southern England. Another section across central and eastern Scotland. Dry in between. But a uh, jury really is out on where that's going to be. It looks like it's going to swing its way southwestwards through the day. So expect some changes with that one. Either way, though, quite a breezy day, particularly on the northern side of the low. Sunday sees the low still off towards the southwest, still breezy down there with some periods of rain and also a fair amount of cloud across southern Wales, southwest England, perhaps southern Ireland too, but other places tending to become drier and brighter, particularly from the west. And then on Monday, the low is still in the southwest. You'll notice still got the front that's hanging around southern Ireland across into southern parts of England, bringing some outbreaks of rain there. One or two showers across southwest England, but much drier through Scotland, northern England and northern Ireland. Now, we've got a bit of a difficulty deciding on what's going to go on as we're looking a little bit further ahead. This is the forecast from the CFS forecast. All fairly straightforward. It takes us through to next Tuesday. You see the trough here down towards the south of the UK, bringing um, these mixed conditions across many southern areas. Brings an easterly flow and keeps the north generally dry. If we look at week two, you notice high pressure here centred across um, Scandinavia. That's uh, because of the high heights there, low pressure down towards the south got this brisk east and northeast wind in between so for much of the UK probably it's a generally dry uh, period particularly across the north although what the CFS doesn't pick up on are the perturbations to the south I think there'll be this easterly flow but in that easterly flow we could find some troughs moving through bringing some outbreaks of rain at times across East Anglia and southern parts of England but the north and the west should be staying generally dry and these are the rainfall predictions for week one. You can see here the green colour showing wetter than normal conditions across the south and with the trough so close by, that's what you'd expect. White though across Scotland, meaning that rainfall is around normal. 
into week two. Uh, most areas you can see here are marked on as white, meaning near normal rainfall, a little bit of green down towards the southeast, hinting that those perturbations moving through taking bands of rain at times. But notice the yellow and oranges across Scotland the dry, and Ireland, the driest of the weather there. Into week three and our higher than normal heights have shifted. They're now here to the west of the UK. We've got uh, lower heights through the Mediterranean and uh, the winds will be flowing something like that around high pressure once it becomes established. So a northeasterly flow across the country. Um, dry conditions for many, best sunshine up towards the north. Always this chance of a little bit of rain just moving into the far south. CFS certainly wanting to build this area of high pressure in. And then for week four, uh, well, in week four, it tends to um, take things back to near normal conditions, but notice low than normal heights west of Portugal and across Spain too, hinting at a trough down there. Pretty nondescript across the UK, so very hard to try and pin down exactly what's going to go on here. I tend to lean towards the idea of the north again being the driest, the south again seeing a chance of some rain at times. But overall, I think not too bad uh, a week. And the rainfall charts want to pick up on something similar as well. This is a chart through to the 4th of June, and you can notice here, look, it's Ireland and it's Scotland. Let's see those yellow and orange colours, meaning much drier than normal conditions. Elsewhere, we've got white, so indicating drier to near normal conditions. If we just look at the final week, um, what you'll notice on there is that uh, we're in white colours, meaning that we've got near normal to below normal rainfall conditions through that week. So as I said, quite a nondescript week overall. So the CFS certainly wanted to bring us back into these dry conditions there with the high pressure building in. It's this northern two thirds of the country again that look like they'll be dry. It's just that uh, far southern part of England that looks as if it could catch some rain at times. So hopefully that's useful information for you. Thanks again for watching. Do keep the sun shining and bye for now.